The Statue of Liberty, New York, April 7, 1951. At dawn on April 7, 1951, Mother and I stand on the deck of the General Stewart as it approaches New York Harbor. On the horizon, the hazy outline of a statue precipitates out of the fog. Look, Mommy, it's the Statue of Liberty. I grip Mother's arm and point, wild with excitement. There, there, can you see it, Mommy? I can. Very well, Mother says and her voice falters. She points in the direction of the statue as it continues to emerge from the morning mist. There it is. I swallow hard. A cheer rings out from the other refugees along the rails. Can someone sing the American anthem? I cry out. Who knows of the American anthem? No one seems to know the anthem of our new homeland. The words of the Israeli anthem reverberate in my mind. And I begin to sing in Hebrew, Od lau avda tikvatenu. Our hope is not lost. To be a free nation in our land, the land of Zion and Jerusalem. Several men whip off their caps and begin to sing. Women and children join in. Different anthems in different languages. A cacophony of voices ripple the foggy dawn. My heart is brimming. I look around. The deck of the refugee boat is full now. A mass of faces full of awe and anticipation focused on the Statue of Liberty as the boat chugs past it. The grand dame of our dreams now rises resplendent against the first rays of the sun. Mother turns to me and says, Let's go, Ellie, and gather our things. We shouldn't be among the last ones to step ashore. I nod. Let's be among the first.